I dreaded sleeping because I didn't know our cushion would spend seven to ten hours lying down with their eyes closed until I reached my topic and discovered the importance of sleep. I focused on figuring out well, why, why sleep helps the body grow and what are some sleep disorders and their solutions. The reason the body grows when it is asleep rather than when it is awake is because the body can focus more on making the body grow than rather, rather than whatever it's doing in the day, for example, playing sports or reading a book. Um, growth hormone is released in stage two sleep, also known as deep sleep. Um, growth hormone is made by the pituitary gland of the brain. It, um, if you don't get enough sleep continuously, then uh, and you don't get it, then you can end up taking micronets. These are things where you can, uh, where you where you just go to sleep for times when you don't want it, for example, 15 to 20 minutes, because your body needs a certain amount of rest to function. So now, as you can see on this chart over here, it says it says newborns need 16 hours of rest, um, three to five, uh, newborn, and then three to five months need 15 hours of rest, and then it just keeps going. And eventually, 15 to 70 years old, you're not really growing anymore, but you need to sleep for other reasons, like to refuel the body for the next day, or to strengthen the immune system, just like air pollution in this kind of Um Also, um, um, sleepiness and not getting enough sleep, it could be people like taking micronauts, can cause 100,000 car crashes and 1,500 deaths. Um, Sleep, sleep disorders. Sleep disorders, um, oh, some common sleep disorders are apnea, phase shift delay, and insomnia. The one I'm really interested in is narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is what a sleep disorder where people sleep too much and they can't stop sleeping. Now, the first one I mentioned, apnea, the most common one, is a sleep disorder where pe in, in their sleep, people's throat closes up so it's hard to breathe. Uh, my interview, Lauren, at the, at the Stanford Stanford um, Hospital sleep, of the sleep checking group, showed me something called the CPAP mask, which is basically a machine that pumps air into you as you sleep, so you can get a better rest. Some people say that who have apnea, they think they're getting a good amount of sleep when they when they're sleeping because they're in deep sleep, so they don't know that their uh, their throat is closing up and they just think they're sleeping. But sometimes they'll wake up and they'll know. But some people are really deep sleepers who have apnea, then they'll just keep sleeping, but they're really not getting the rest they need because their brain is focusing on making them breathe rather than sleeping. It's pretty crazy. The brain needs to focus to make the body rest. So sleepwalking and sleepwalking and talking is 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 a um, a thing that mostly happens in kids, but can happen in adults a lot of the time. It is a, it is a sign of stress, and it can it can be, and it can be, it could be things that they're expressing in the night that they can't express in the day. Some night some sleeping suggestions that that will really help you sleep are charging your phone out of the room because a lot of people stare at their phone. Also, a lot of people stare at their clock because they want to know when can I wake up. A lot of um, a, a good solution to this is just to turn your clock against the wall because that will so that you can see if you're not here. Also, um, eating eating right before you sleep is not good for you because your body needs time to digest the food. You should wait about two to three hours. Eating banana will also help because it calms the stress hormone and helps you digest your food faster. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, you should also do things to relax. Relax, like um, read a book, take a shower, or do things like that because that will help. That will help you sleep. Since a lot of people have insomnia, that which is like when they can't sleep because they're stressed. That is the one I mentioned earlier. A lot of people also uh, who have insomnia and just all the sleep disorders, before they go to the doctor, they try sleeping pills for a good amount of time, like a week or something. It is actually not good to take sleeping pills for a week or two, even. Um, because it, then you'll end up relying on sleeping pills, so you can't sleep without it. So your body says, okay, like the first day you take sleeping pills, it, it, it adjusts to them fine, but then the second day, it adjusts to them fine again, and then you end up, like when you try to sleep without them, your body's like, where is the sleeping pills? Because they can't sleep without them. So you still use that like, something else to do the work for
Thank you for listening to my capstone project. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If 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 you want to learn more on my topic, please visit this QR code. Thank you.